Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how easy it is to install Proxmox on a mini PC or an old PC that you have lying about. And this is to show someone who's never done it before or someone like myself who always uses Windows how easy it is to start. All I'm using is a mini HP PC here, but you can use a normal PC, old CPUs, hard drives, motherboard, make it into a PC, and you could test Proxmox to see if it's for you, can you get away with using it, or just want to learn how to use it. That's what I am doing at present, coming from a Windows for 30 years, operating system so I'm now trying Proxmox I'll show you how I'm getting on first thing you want to do is go to the Proxmox page its download page I've put the link in the description here and you would download the ISO and also I'm using Rufus to put that to a USB stick Rufus another free program I'll put the link below if you've done Windows install Windows you'll know what Rufus is but it's very easy you just download the program install Rufus select device your USB stick what you've got plugged in and then select the image and then you would just start and let it install and onto the actual USB stick whatever PC you do use you will need a keyboard and a display like a monitor just to start with just to set it up and install it after that you don't need it I'm also going to use a wireless mouse the PC I'm using the HP I need a wired keyboard I've tried wireless it won't work at the beginning just to hit F9 to put me in a boot order so I can choose to boot from the USB stick once I've passed this I can then use the wireless keyboard which I also have. So first thing you want to do is plug USB we used to download Proxmox on using Rufus. I'll just turn this on and power. And for HP PC, I'm pressing F9 and I want to get into the actual BIOS. Well, not the BIOS, it's the boot in order. And here it is. I've already got Proxmox on this PC. I'm going to do a fresh install and wipe it. So I'm going to just choose the, which is that jump drive, which is the USB stick. So it's going to boot from there. And with met with this screen I'm going to use the graphical one because like you see I'm very new to Proxmox I'm not going to use a terminal and I can use my wireless keyboard now so I'm just going to choose that one and then you just press enter I'm going to speed this bit up it might take a couple of minutes just let it do all its what it's doing installing and now you are here it's really just agree with the license Proxmox is free so it doesn't you don't have to pay for anything so you just scroll down agree now this bit you're going to pick which hard drive to install on I have two hard drives on here one has got media on the terabyte one and another one is a SSD 256 so I'm going to choose that one that is the one I'm going to put all the containers virtual machines on this one is just your region I'm UK so I'm choosing that one this one you need to make a password and you gotta remember this password so you need to write this down and it as for an email, just put an email in. It doesn't actually email you or anything like that, but you need to put one in to proceed. The next page is your network configurations. I'm just going to leave it the way it is on here. 
but I will change it to a static IP with my router once installed. You also need to do a host name. So you just need a, what you're gonna call your Proxmox. And then once everything's done, check it's all been correctly put in and press install. And just leave it, it will take a couple of minutes. I've speeded this video up so you don't have to sit through that. And then once it's actually installed, you'll be prompt with an IP address and that's what you'll use on your PC laptop. Meaning you won't need a, a monitor or a keyboard or mouse connected to it anymore. You will just use your own PC to operate Proxmox and install or use the actual operating system itself. So as you can see on the screen, we have finished, it's installed and it's given me my IP address. So we just put that into a browser. We'll do that now. I'm just going to use Microsoft Edge. You can use any of them, Firefox, Chrome. And you just type in IP address. Yours will be totally different to mine. Just, once I type it in, And that's us in. What you need to do now is user's name is root, but the password is what you made before. So you gotta remember that one. And then we just log in. And now we're in Proxmox. And I have me home, what I made before. And you've got I'll give you the summary. This here showing you CPU usage, RAM. As you can see, it's taking up no resources on this PC. 16 gig is probably too much for this, but if I move on with lots of containers or virtual machines, then it will use a lot more. Right, we have Proxmox installed, but now what? Well, the community has made scripts to write out a lot easier, especially for new people coming to this, like myself. They've actually created a web page and go on. If I want like Jellyfin or any of them, I'll actually show you. I'll put the link in this description at the bottom. And it's a community script, but all of these or done, you can do it manually if you can write scripts, but just starting off, this is great. Basically, it shows you for Jellyfin, which I will be doing, it shows me, I will just copy this script, go back to Proxmox and open a shell and paste this in and start the installation process. It's not just Jellyfin, it's whatever you want. There's hundreds to choose from here when you break them down. If you did like this video, please like, comment and subscribe. Thank you for watching.